Hello friends. In this video, I am going to build vehicle accident alert system using GPS, GSM and accelerometer. Here I have connected the accelerometer. It detects the sudden change in the axis of vehicle due to a crash or accident. Then the project starts the buzzer for 30 seconds. And after that, it send a call alert by making call to your mobile phone. After that, the project send an alert SMS on your mobile phone with the location of the accident. This accident alert system can also be used as a GPS tracking system. Send get GPS command from your phone. And soon, the GPS location of the accident is sent to your phone in the form of Google Map link. You just tap on the link to visualize the real-time GPS data on Google Maps. You will have to add the emergency phone number in the code for getting SMS alerts and call alerts. Here, I have added a push button. Let's understand the purpose for this button. If the project detects false crash due to noise or some other reason, then just press this push button within 30 seconds to stop sending false SMS alerts. You can change the alert delay time in the code. I have set it to 30 seconds. I have also added the LCD here. When a crash is detected, then the magnitude is displayed in the LCD. The magnitude indicates about the intensity of the crash. If the magnitude value is small, it's mean something hits to your car with less force. And if the magnitude value is high, it's mean something hits to your car very hard. This whole project is based on GSM network. So, no internet connection is required for this project. Now let's understand how I have built this project. Let's get started. Parts used in this project. Arduino Nano. LCD I2C. NEO 6M GPS module SIM 800 LGSM module 2G micro SIM card Piezoelectric buzzer and a push button with one Calvin resistor. Next, go to my GitHub account and click here to download the project files. You can check the download link in video description. Here, you can see the project code wiring diagram, and some other related files. First, open the libraries folder. Here, select and copy all the libraries. Then, go to Arduino libraries folder. And here, paste the libraries. Now, go back to your code folder. Here, open this file, accident alert gsm.ino. This is the main file of this project. Here, Enter your emergency phone number. Make sure, enter the phone number with country code. The project will send accident alerts on this emergency phone number. Now connect the Arduino Nano to your computer. And then, go to Tools menu. Here, select your board and COM port. And then upload the code to your microcontroller. Now, we will connect the components to Arduino Nano and your project will be ready to detect and send the accident alerts. Next, let's have a look at the wiring diagram. Use this diagram as reference to connect all the components. Here, first I will connect the ADXL335 accelerometer to the Arduino Nano. Connect the accelerometer X, Y, and Z pins to Arduino pin AO, A1, and A2. Connect the accelerometer VCC pin to Arduino 3.3 volts pin. And ground to ground. Now, connect the Arduino Nano to your computer and open the serial monitor. Here, if I hit the accelerometer, then you can see the crash is detected. And here you can see the magnitude value. Magnitude indicates how hard you hit the accelerometer. If you hit the accelerometer lightly, then the magnitude value will be smaller. Here you can observe the magnitude value. That is 65. And if you hit the accelerometer with more power, then the magnitude value will be greater. Here you can observe the magnitude value is around 80. The magnitude plays significant role in this project.
It is used to determine if the accident is occur or not. To detect an accident, we will compare the magnitude with this sensitivity variable. If the magnitude value is greater than the sensitivity, then it's mean that the crash is detected. Here, I have set the sensitivity to 50. You will have to set the sensitivity according to your vehicle type. Just put the accelerometer in your vehicle while you are driving. And if the project detects false crash without any reason, then just increase the sensitivity value. Let's make some experiments with the sensitivity. So, if I set the sensitivity to 150, then what will happen? In that case, the accident will be detected only if you hit the accelerometer with more power. So, it will not detect the light accident. Similarly, if I decrease the sensitivity value to 20. In that case, even if you touch the accelerometer gently, there would be an accident alert. So, there are more chances for false crash alert. So what we have learned? If the sensitivity value is greater, then less chances of false crash alerts. But it might not detect the light accidents. If the sensitivity value is smaller, then more chances of false crash alerts. But it can detect the light accidents. So, adjust the sensitivity value carefully. Next, I will discuss about how I have calculated the magnitude. I have write a complete algorithm to calculate the magnitude value. Here, you can see the impact algorithm. And this algorithm is the heart of this project. This algorithm calculates the magnitude value and decides whether the accident occurred or not. I have used this research paper to create the crash detection algorithm. This is one of the best research paper about crash detection I have ever seen on the internet. This algorithm differentiates between parking mode and driving mode. So, it can detect crashes while you are driving. And it can also detect the crash when the car is parked. You can check the research paper from the project code folder. Let's move to the code. Here, first I have stored previous access readings in the old x, y, and z variables. The impact algorithm executes after every 2 milliseconds. So, there must be some old values in x, y, and z axis variables. And I have stored that values in old x, old y, and old z variables. Here, I am reading the new values for x, y, and z axis from accelerometer. Now, we have previous values and the new values. Next below, I am subtracting the previous axis values from the new values to get the delta x, delta y, and delta z. Next, I have put the delta x, delta y, and delta z in this formula. And this formula will calculate the magnitude. Next, if the magnitude is greater than the sensitivity value, then it's mean that the crash is detected. So, I have set the update flag variable to 1. I will use this update flag value in the loop function to send the SMS and call alerts. Now, let's take a look at loop function. Here in the loop function, I am calling the impact algorithm after every 2 milliseconds. And if the algorithm detects an accident, then it set the update flag variable to 1. Next below, I am checking if the update flag is greater than 0, then it's mean that the accident is detected. Now what we will do? First, we will get the location of the accident using get GPS function. And then, it turn on the buzzer. Next, I have started the timer. Now, the program will wait for 30 seconds. And during this time period, if you press the push button, then the project will not send any SMS alert. This if statement checks if the 30 seconds time period is passed. And if the condition is true, then first, the buzzer will turned off. And then, the project will make a call alert to the emergency phone number that we have entered above. And then, the project will send an SMS alert to your phone with the GPS location data. And if you press the push button within 30 seconds, then it just turn off the buzzer and will not send any SMS or call alert. This is all about the code. Now, 
Go to the top of the sketch. As you know I have used I2C LCD display in this project. And you need to add the address of I2C LCD here. To find the address for your LCD, just connect the LCD to Arduino. And then upload this file, I2C scanner.ino, to your microcontroller. And in the serial monitor, you can find the address. You just copy the address, and paste it here. Before uploading the code, verify these things. First, you must have installed the following libraries. Second, you must have entered the correct LCD I2C address. Third, you must have entered the emergency phone number. Now the code is ready. Just upload it. And test the project yourself. This is for today. If you have any question, then comment below. See you in the next video. Bye.